a display of force for a self-proclaimed country that is technically without an army. These Kosovar men have been trained by K4, a special NATO-led international force for Kosovo, and it's expected will make up Kosovo's future military. They are the main act here, and the crowds love them. It's been five years since Kosovo's declaration, and though half of the world's countries have yet to recognize it as a state, that hasn't stopped people like the Ayupi family from celebrating. We know we are free now, and it's our own country, and we will show them that we are a very young country, but we have a great future with great talents in Kosovo, and we will show them that one day they're going to accept us. The sentiment was echoed by Kosovo's prime minister, who says things are changing for the better. There are achievements in every field of life, security, economy, health, and the affirmation of the state of Kosovo throughout the world. A few hundred kilometers away in Belgrade, the former capital of the dissolved Federation of Yugoslavia, the mood was clearly less festive. Most Serbs consider Kosovo a part of Serbia, and scars of the 1999 American-led air campaign on their country, which drove Serbian forces out of Kosovo, serve as a daily reminder of the price they've paid. The parade has not been without controversy. Veteran UCK fighters, revered in much of Kosovo for having battled Serbian troops, were left out of the procession, leading some to boycott the event. Kosovo still has a long way to go. As a country, it is among Europe's poorest and corruption is growing. The European Union wants that and its relations with Serbia fixed before any talks of membership. Which may require additional strength for the long road ahead. Rui Rettenberg, CCTV in Pristina.